Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to our second episode of In the Kitchen with Dr. H. I'm Dr. Hafizula, and I am just thrilled to have this series of cooking shows where we from the Caribbean can bring a nice healthy twist to the dishes that we love growing up. Give us a nice healthier spin on the things that we're used to without ever compromising that delicious flavor. So I'm surrounded by Caribbean elements today. Of course, I'm a Trini at heart. My husband is Jamaican. I'm wearing some jewelry here from St. Lucia. And of course, we're featuring Jamaica and Chef Deanna has a Cuban husband. So we have a lot of Caribbean represented all around us today. So today, as I mentioned, I am thrilled to welcome Chef Deanna from Island Fusion Grill. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about her first, but as we're looking at this, please remember to like and share this show right now. We wanna make sure that all of our Caribbean people and anyone who embraces our Caribbean culture and traditions, that they amplify this show so that we can make our community healthier. That can only happen with your help. So Chef Deanna, you are the owner and operator of Island Fusion Grill. It's a vegan restaurant that has a Jamaican and Cuban flair to it. Deanna, like most of us, learned to cook at the sides of her family members. For me, it was my mother. And then she brings up flavors, the ingredients harvested from the lush, beautiful Jamaica and the Caribbean islands into her cooking. Those are the things that we remember and bring back just the best memories. I remember going home from school, climbing the plum tree in my backyard and studying up there. I was eating the fruit and enjoying my study time at the same time. And she mentioned, you know, she has seasonings that she brought off from her gardens and she uses a nice Jamaican and her husband is Cuban as well. So there's a fusion of both. And the vegan dishes that she cooks are really representative of the flavors that we're so used to, but a much healthier twist like foxtail. And today we're making jerk jackfruit salad. Chef Deanna, welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. We are so excited to hear about your inspiration for the healthy cooking and what we're doing today. Tell us a little. Well, uh, well today I'm actually reaching back to my um, childhood in Jamaica where we used to have a jackfruit tree in the middle of our play area. And so we used to really cook the jackfruit, eat the jackfruit. Most people have never heard of jackfruit until uh, recently. And so I've actually been cooking jackfruit, which is, it's called a super fruit. It's actually, you can survive on just jackfruit and coconut water and you'll be healthier than anybody else. So Love I'm just it. excited to use whole ingredients and um, that's my love. That's what I love to do with Island Fusion Grill. Well, I'll tell you, your passion is coming across the screens here, okay? We feel that. So I'm excited to dive in with you. I have all of these beautiful ingredients today. Just walk us through the process and tell us what we will need first, the ingredients for everybody following us along. We have the list of ingredients and we have the methods to show you how to make this. But Chef Deanna, you wanna give us a quick rundown as we are cooking together? Yes, so we're, we actually have um, our jackfruit that we have in can that is actually in water, which is a healthier way to eat the, the green jackfruit. So healthy for you. And then we'll have, we use avocado oil. We have fresh mango. You know, mango is in season. Absolutely. So it's the best time to eat seasonal with the fresh mango. We have our tricolored peppers, which is our red, green, and yellow, which is a Jamaican thing. So it adds a color to it and it, it pops. And then of course our tomato and our cucumber, and we have our onion. And I, usually use um, the mixed green and I go with heritage blend, which is so crisp and the frise is fabulous. So it's our best thing. And then of course I have our avocado. I use half today because it's easier to work with and um, uh, it's, I have great flavor with the jerk jackfruit salad. Well, I'm excited to get started. Everybody in my household is looking forward to enjoying this meal. <laughs> so I, I'm following you, you are our expert today. So, you know, Chef Deanna, you tell me what we do first. I have my setup just like that, and I follow those instructions that you had ahead of time, but I'm ready to start. <laughs> I am so excited that you do that. I'm so excited you are excited because this is my first love. And so when someone loves what I love, I just can't wait to show and teach and um, enjoy. So first we start off 
with our jackfruit that we've cut in pieces and we, we add it to our bowl. Okay. And then we add our, uh, you can use Mrs. Dash or other seasons. I use a uh, Saison that we have here, we use in a restaurant, which has cilantro, garlic, and um, uh, sea salt, that kind of stuff. So it's a good thing to put, you add that to it. And then you toss it, season it up. After seasoning, Doc, you add the amaranth to coat it because this will crisp it in the air fryer. And we are using air fryer, which is so much more healthy than the regular, uh, than regular frying. So that is a great tip, Chef Deanna. That air frying, for me, I didn't have the amaranth flour. I had chickpea flour. That works just as well? Yes. Yes, it does. Perfect. So after we're done here, we're going to add it. Actually, we're going to put it in our air fryer for about 20 minutes to crisp up. And so we got to water by air fryer and drop it in. Well, I love this. Like you said, the air fryer has become an essential piece of equipment in our kitchen. <laughs> right. So that goes in. And if you don't have an air fryer, you could use a grill top. Or can you lightly or your drop oven. it in a nonstick pan? Right, yes. Or you can use your oven. oven. If you have an oven, it's, it works just as well. And okay. then you turn, you have your temperature at 350, and you put it on for 20 minutes, and it'll be nice and crisp for you. But, Doc, you know I'm already prepared, so I did some <laughs> ahead of time so we could yes. get you going because I know how excited you are to <laughs> going with this ingredient so here's what i do i have my little um stove with my saute pan yes i'm following along with you right now on that piece and i will now add the avocado oil now i use avocado oil because of the high heat heat um, resistance it does not break sure. down so that to me is very good and so that's my best, my go-to, along with coconut. But avocado for this one is amazing. So Perfect. I, I put my I avocado got... oil in there. That's so nice. Yes. And then I go ahead and I add my um, my peppers, my cup of um, tricolor. So I love that we have some Jamaican colors in here. Oh, you yes. Yes. Mm. yes. So Delicious. you're going to wait. Right. The oil really doesn't have to get too hot because we don't want to um, sear it too much. I try my best to keep the enzymes in my vegetable. It, it, okay. it, what it does, it, it's just as healthy. You don't want to cook it out. So I try to, to not um, have it cooked this long. So it's heated already and it's, it's, come, it's frying so it's up. Hard. And then we're going to add our onion. And I like that we cut these into strips. That's julienne, right? When we yes. do the julienne. And then the onions you said next. Perfect. Right. So that's it's julienne. And it's so easy to do. Um, when you cut the peppers, just cut it in strips. It's so much more attractive. And you want your, your plate to be as beautiful as it is healthy and tasteful. Absolutely. And so, so important to do. And then after I do that, I am going to... I can hear, you hear the sizzle, everybody. You hear the sizzle. You do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that looks amazing. And the avocado oil just adds a, an additional glisten yes. to this, and it smells amazing. Hmm. Then, so where are you with that, dog? So we're going to go ahead and add our jackfruit. That's Perfect. Already like oh. magic, I had mine air fried. <laughs> And then we're going to toss that okay. just a ton. And next, we're going to do our, our dry jerk seasoning. Okay. And nice so I add that to the seasoning. pot. Well, I have enough. This is about two tablespoons of dry jerk, right? Right. So. We're gonna toss that for about two minutes, Doc. 
Okay. How are you doing over there, Doc? Doing well. My goodness, you're such a good teacher here. Good, great instructor. I'm learning on the fly. This is, looks amazing. <laughs> it smells. I wish everybody could smell the aroma in our kitchens right now. It's wow. amazing. I, you know, I, when I'm in the kitchen, I am just the happiest. I feel like dancing. That's how much I love to be in the kitchen. Well, so tell us a little bit more, Chef Deanna. Why is healthy <laughs> cooking? Why is healthy oh. cooking so important to you? You know, it is. And I'll tell you something, along with my journey that I'm doing, I mentioned earlier that I'm going to start um, just taking my time and enjoy myself and, and uh, get healthy, you know, and stay healthy and teach other people to be healthy, just like you. I am so impressed that you're on this path. Thank you, Chef Deanna. You know, you're an inspiration for so many of us out there. It is, yeah. you know, people mostly when you think about the healthy foods, they think, oh, I've got to completely change the way I eat as far as all the traditional foods that you use. Right. Like the small changes can make such positive impact and you're not really changing the flavors. And Caribbean food is packed with flavor. So you're yes. never compromising that piece. Poor no. right? Salt, fat, all the things that you mentioned before are so important. So tell so me a little bit Tell us yes. a little more about other ways that we can tweak this recipe. If somebody right. doesn't want to eat the jackfruit, is there another alternative? We do um, like coconut cutlets, you know, the, um, you know, the jelly of the coconut dog? Yes. Oh my God. My favorite. Amazing. <laughs> yes. And so I do a jerk coconut cutlet. But listen, I have that jerk jackfruit sauce that we're going to put on this, the, the jackfruit. Okay. And I got a little too excited and put mine out already. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, it smells. Um, let me tell you, the combination of that dry jerk seasoning and then the paste, the jerk, oh, that adds another dimension of flavor there. And that's it. This or looks the, like chicken. The jackfruit. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Right. So this is what it looks like, Doc. Ah, beautiful. So how am I doing, Chef Diana? Does this look like it needs to look here? I'm... Yes. Yes. All right. That I looks fabulous. Awesome. I can't wait to try this. So now are we plating? Yes. Now. We're going to um, go ahead and make the salad. So you have all your ingredients for the salad. Yes. Which is uh, the heritage blend, lettuce, or your mixed greens is fine. Uh, anything, spinach is great, um, romaine, you can. I love it. I have a mixture of spinach and mixed greens here. Right. And then. Once you do the lettuce, then you can um, add to the sides. So here's what I do, Doc, with okay. the dish. To di we, so we start decoring the dish before we put the jerk jackfruit on. Okay. So I add my tomato off to the side. Okay. On each side of the plate. Okay, got it. I add my mango. Oh, yes. Just pick today. Oh my God, it's so. <laughs> Look at this ripe sweet. mango. You ripe. Yeah. This is mango season. Perfect. Oh use yeah. Of these ingredients, I tell you. Mm. Right. And this is for a family size, so we will, um, while we're plating it here, we can have yeah. a smaller plate <laughs> for, oh. for our own meal. <laughs> Wonderful. And then we're gonna add our uh, cucumber. Cucumber. Okay. Got that here. And with the avocado, I didn't slice it first. I just cut it in half so you're ready to go. And then what I do is I go ahead and I slice it in the skin. You see that? Beautiful. That's such an easy way to do it. Right. And then put it on the plate. Fantastic. Oh, I love it. You don't even need to scoop it the way you cut it. No, you don't. So I cut mine up a little bit early, but I put a little lemon juice on top of it. 
Oh, lovely. <laughs> to prevent it yes. from, you know, turning brown on us. Exactly. Well, I use that. That's yes, you can do that too. And it's just as amazing. That's amazing. And then once, once that's done, you go ahead and then top your salad with your jerk jackfruit. With all the peppers and everything on there? Everything on there, yes. Amazing. I would, I would take, what I do is I put the jackfruit and then add the peppers on top. Ah, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Because then that, does that rehydrate the jackfruit? No. No, you don't. It, it's you because um, well, you're just putting it on, taking it out, and um, putting yeah. it on the pan, and it's okay. That looks beautiful. Oh my goodness, the colors, the textures, right. the flavors, and I have the hot and spicy jerk sauce. I know you make your own jerk sauce. In yes, your I do. Right? Yes, I do. Well, from our fresh peppers, we grow. We grow fresh cut spawned mm -hmm. peppers at home, and That's I incredible. also. Um, have the kakucha pepper. You ever heard of the kakucha, which is, it tastes like scotch bite, but it's not spicy. Oh my God, it's so amazing. <laughs> We've got to tell us, how, can we grow that here? Because you know I'm going to get some seeds. Oh, I'm going to give you some seeds, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a deal. But Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. So here is our replica for you on our side. So you used a nice square plate there, and we have a little oval. <laughs> right. Do you know what else I use, Doc, that um, I make my own dressing and you can too. And I try to use the dressings from the season. And uh, this is a hibiscus dressing I use with ginger, fresh ginger and a light vinegar. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow, that sounds incredible. So I think on the recipe card there, we had some sorrel and ginger, right? So I had a little bit of sorrel left over, no sugar in it, just sort of steep with ginger and a little cinnamon and i mix a little bit more of the avocado oil in there and some pepper beautiful does that work beautiful okay look at that i'm just going to drizzle this over that is lovely oh this smells fantastic and you know what my family is going to go to town on this i love that <laughs> you just opened us up to new possibilities chef diana thank you so much it's a pleasure doing that yes and tell us a little bit more about Island Fusion Grill and, you know, the creative fusion that you have in place. And tell me more about how we can embrace that healthy lifestyle through your vision. So um, we actually transitioned to vegan in March. And um, just we actually cleaned out our kitchen of any animal-based protein and went all plant-based. And I'll tell you, that's the best decision I ever made. It, we, we serve things like um, that, you know, you're not, not just pasta and vegetable. We do things like the Ropa Vieja, where we use the king trumpet mushroom. Oh, so wow. we get into things like the banana blossom, which has all protein and all the potassium that no one really knows about. We do braised bamboo shoots. You know, things like that, it has substance, real whole foods. And so that's what it's about. And I love that oh. you're growing things and you have sustainability sort of built yes. in. Yes. Doc, you know what? I'll tell you something. You have to try the Voxtails. So tell us about the Voxtail. Oh. <laughs> yes. Vegan Oxtail, right? <laughs> yes. And jackfruit is the main uh, one of the ingredient, along with our mushroom and along with beans. And beans has a lot of protein. So we have jackfruit with the protein, beans with the protein. So you're getting something that is hearty that uh, will satisfy you. And so that's what vegans are looking for. Something that when they eat, it will sustain them. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we had a question from Melissa. She was asking, is is the, should the jackfruit be fresh or is canned best? Well, you can do fresh. It just, it's a lot of work. Because of the, the, um, the stain on the jackfruit, you have to brine it. You have to, um, you know, keep it in water for a long time in order for the stain not to be on it. So in order for you to have a quick meal, because you know, these days people want to get a quick meal and go, but you want to do quick and healthy. So using the can with the jackfruit in the water is just as good. And you know, so I, I will recommend the can. 
And you know what? You brought up a great point before where you don't have to get the jackfruit in brine or the salt water. You can get it in, in actual water. So you don't have the additional salt. Right. And so you know what? We're going to finish off with a little mocktail here. You know, I couldn't help myself. I had to taste this. And wow. Oh, I have a carnival in my mouth right now with the jerk seasoning and everything in there. Then the combination of the sweet mango and the tang of the tomato and then the spice of the jackfruit with the peppers and onions. Incredible. 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 So we have a couple of things here. We have Grace Tropical Rhythms. You know, this does have a lot of sugar to it, but we can dilute this for a nice mocktail, a non-alcoholic drink. You know, we want to make sure to stay in the healthy theme. So I have a little glass here that just has a lemon slice in it. Oh. And just, yeah, this flavor here is mango carrot. And I'm going to just add just a little bit of this to our glass. This is to, to oh. toast to you just a touch. See, that's all I need. Not more than that. And then... You could do one of two things. You can either add diluted coconut water or you could use a club soda. No calories in your club soda, it just adds bubbles. And you can, this one's a lime flavor club soda. I'm gonna add that to it and I already have my lemon in there. And wow. there we go. A nice, beautiful, tropical, low sugar mocktail. So Chef Deanna, we want yes. to toast to you, but at the same time, I want you to tell us some words of wisdom from all of your years doing this, because you're incredible. Well, I'll tell you, you know, um, to thine own self be true. So you want to be healthy, you take care of yourself. And then you can take care of others. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be true to myself. And have some great jackfruit salad. There you go, right? Well, to everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. Here's okay. cheers to you, Chef Deanna. Cheers to all of our viewers. Here is to good health and a long life. Thank you for joining us. Remember to join us in August. We're featuring a Trinidadian chef, and we're going to keep our healthy theme going. Let's do this together. We are going to get healthy together. Thank you all very much, and we'll see you the next time.